Hello, Michael here with another Redshift tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at material IDs or um, puzzle mats as they're called in Redshift. So this is a very simple way of isolating a, an element of your render so you can add effects to it um, or you can change its hue or change its exposure or any number of things. So the first thing we're going to do is create a mat ID um, pass. So in the render settings go to your AOV then scroll to uh, puzzle mat click add and then if you click this button here we'll show the attributes for it we're going to use uh, red channel 1 for the material ID and that's set now and then now we're going to go to the hypershade editor um, if you haven't already um, map out your material for your object so this is my robot we're going to go to the node on the right and click redshift and then make sure that your material ID is set to one. Uh, with that done, we'll go to rendering, we'll go to render and batch render because as a pass, we have to do a batch render. We can't just do an IPR and save it out. Uh, so I'll pause the recording and be back in a second. Okay, so our render is finished. So let's jump into Windows Explorer. Um, your batch renders will render out by default to the images folder within your project. Uh, so those are my two there. So you see I've got my beauty pass and my puzzle map. So let's jump into Nuke and we'll just grab both of those and drag them in. And so you'll see that we've got the mat ID pass on the left and the beauty pass on the right. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is we'll create a grade node by hitting tab and then typing in grade. And we'll connect that to our beauty pass and then to our viewer by pressing one with it selected. And if you change the gamma, for example, you'll see that everything gets changed, but we can actually um, grab this little tab here, which is the mask and, and apply it to our uh, puzzle map. And then on the mask, we need to change it to RGBA red. And you'll see that now the only thing that's being affected is the robot because he has the mask applied to him. So you can continue this if you wanted to say do a hue shift for example and then once again the same thing sign it to the mask change it to RGBA red change whatever um, saturation for example and um, yeah and that's pretty much all there is to it so now you can go in and uh, assign masks to your materials and uh, you can adjust them in post if need be which is really useful um, particularly for like this um, the main character in this short and uh, being able to do some finer adjustments because maybe the lights didn't quite give me the amount of saturation or contrast I wanted versus the background that sort of thing's really useful so if you liked this tutorial make sure you click the like button so other people can find it and if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed as I'm doing a couple of CG tutorials every week uh, for things like Redshift and um, Nuke now and other CG products. If you want to stay up to date, make sure you're following on Facebook, link in the description. That's it for now though, thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.
and then on the mask we need to change it to RGBA red and you'll see that now the only thing that's being affected is the robot because he has the mask applied to him. So you can continue this if you wanted to say do a hue shift for example and then once again the same thing assign it to the mask change it to RGBA red and then change whatever um, saturation for example and um, yeah and that's pretty much all there is to it so now you can go in and uh, assign masks to your materials and uh, you can adjust them in post if need be which is really useful um, particularly for like this um, the main character in this short and uh, being able to do some finer adjustments because maybe the lights didn't quite give me the amount of saturation or contrast I wanted versus the background that sort of thing's really useful um, but that's so if you liked this tutorial make sure you click the like button so other people can find it and if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed as I'm doing a couple of CG tutorials every week uh, for things like Redshift and um, Nuke now and other CG products if you want to stay up to date, make sure you're following on Facebook, link in the description. That's it for now though, thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.